Hello, this is Rob from robcoven.com. I'm going to show you how to style up a, a WordPress website uh, using a child theme of the 2010 theme. And I'm going to do this using developer tools on Chrome. Here's the site in Chrome, and you get the developer tools up, and that's uh, View Developer Developer Tools. And this is exactly the same. You may want to use um, the Firebug uh, plugin for Firefox, uh, but this does exactly the same thing. Once you have the developer tools up, you can click the magnifying glass down at the bottom and then scroll to the bit that you want to change. Let's say we want to change this type here. Um, it shows you where it is in the web page. And it also shows you the styles that affect it. And let's say we want to change the uh, font. And you can see the font is here on the body. Uh, let's copy that and go into our style sheet, which in the WordPress backend, of course, is Appearance Editor. And once you click that, you'll come up to the style sheet. Here we have the child theme of 2010s. You import the styles for 2010 and then after that you do the changes that you want from the 2010 theme. So now I'm going to paste that font command and I, what we want to do is let's change it to Vedana and let's try and change that font there. Um, instead of using the body I'm going to apply it to content P and that will be a bit more specific. So I'll copy that and put that there and update the file and let's see what happens. So hopefully that this text will change to Vedana. There you are, it's changed to Vedana and the other Helvetica has stayed the same. So that's how you can change pretty much anything to uh, make the WordPress default theme 2010, which is an excellent theme, to look how you want it. And the way I've done that is to start off by importing the 2010 styles and the child theme, and then add just the extra styles here to change the 2010 to the theme that I want. Down the sidebar, of course, you can use widgets. And also in 2010, there is an option to uh, change the header image via the back end um, in appearance header. And also there's appearance background for changing the background. But you probably prefer to do it in the uh, CSS of the child theme. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.